Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Saggies. Welcome back, Archers. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all is well. Sagittarius, have you been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Saggies, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages, source, your guardian angels, your ancestors have for you today in regards to love. Shout out to the evolving spirits. Shout out to the soul tribe. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. I appreciate you. I thank you all so, so much. All right. Definitely come on in. Get comfortable. Have a seat. We're going to dive straight in. Sagittarius today with the tarot deck here to see what's the tea for you and your person. What's the connection regarding what's the level of this connection and the potential outcome here? Okay, and then of course, once we're done, we'll get you some word advice from your guardian angels and your ancestors here. Okay, my apologies. I wanted to make sure that my deck here had all the cards up right here. Okay, some of my cards I noticed was in reverse so i want to make sure everything is up right here for you archers all right definitely don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell my loves that way in the future you all are notified for when i do go live as well okay so let's see here archers let's see what this connection con what this connection here spirit is referencing to here let's see what the potential outcome is here for you and your person archers what do we have for Sagittarius placements? Please protect my space and aura, please. As I channel the messages here for the archers. Show me Sagittarius person's energy here and how they feel towards the archers. I'm going to pull the spread for your person's energy and your energy here as well, Sagittarius. How does Sagittarius person feel towards this connection? All right, the top row here, Archers, is your energy. The bottom row here is, I'm sorry, the bottom row is your energy and the top row is your person's energy. And the mutual energy here is going to be the card right here for you. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck, Archers, is a nine of swords, okay? Some of y'all, this person could be an air sign here. We have Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy here. Someone may be all up in their head or worried about a particular situation here. Okay, this person that you may be in this connection here with is concerned, they're wary here. Okay, or someone around you and your energy here has not been able to get any sleep at night and they're wearying here, archers. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what's going on, archers. Wow, we have the temperance card where there you go, archers. Okay, all right, stepping up in your own reading here today, archers. I see you. All right, gang, gang. Now, this particular energy here may see you as this actual earth angel, right? They see you being very balanced. They're actually seeing you in your own energy, which is the temperance here, right? So this person finds that you are very balanced, very patient, okay? And I feel like this is what this person loves about you, Archers, is that you're very patient with this person. You're very understanding as well here, I'm getting. Okay, yes, wow, we have the Ten of Pentacles here, Earth energy here. Some of you know, this person could be an Earth sign here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here. All right, this particular energy here is someone that's very grounded, okay, and they love the potential here that they see with you, okay? I feel like this person is already putting you in a placement here in the future, in their life, and they're being able to see that you two working together will be very successful here. Very financially stable as well with the Ten of Pentacles here. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yes, we have the Queen of Pentacles here, a.k.a. This could be the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles here. But this is how your person is viewing you, Archers. Okay. Again, they see that you're very successful, very talented, very smart, very independent. Have your head on your shoulders. Okay. Some of y'all could be a mother here. Okay. All right. They definitely see you as a wife. All right, a husband here. Some of y'all could be a father here, okay? But they see that you're well-rounded, well-put-together, well-grounded, very balanced here, and very financially stable here. Damn. 
fuck it up, Saggies. All right, we have the Eight of Wands here. Here's your energy here. Okay, this person could be a fire sign like yourself here. All right, we have Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy here. All right, so you see that there's going to be a lot of communication coming in between you and this person here. Or you feel like you're really going to be getting to know this person here with the Eight of Wands. Some of y'all, this is going to pick up really quickly here. A lot of communication between you two back and forward here, archers, okay? Some of y'all, you could have met this person online here. Others of you all, this person may be at a distance from you. You may find yourself having to travel towards this person or this person traveling towards you or you both deciding to travel together, okay? What else we have here? Wow, the King of Cups here. Oh my goodness. Some of y'all, this person may be a Scorpio here as well, all right? But you are definitely falling in love with this person, Sagittarius, or you're having feelings for this person here, okay? However you want to put it here, honey, okay? But you finding that this person is enjoying and loving you more, okay? I said it's going to be a lot of communication here between you two, all right? Yeah, look at that. We got the Eight of Pentacles here, Earth Energy here again. Some of y'all, this person could be an earth sign here, a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here, okay? But you're definitely working very hard towards this connection here, very hard towards this relationship, okay? Some of y'all could have your own business as well, all right? Something very grounded and stable for you as well here, okay? So you both see that this relationship has potential it is very much a solid offer here between you two, okay? A very good established relationship here in the making. Wow, Sagittarius, yes, okay? Let's see with the mutual energy here between you two, the hang one, all right? So you've both been through a spiritual awakening here, okay? You've both been able to experience the good side and the bad side or you know, the lower part of yourselves through experiences, through relationships, and the higher part of yourselves through relationships and experience here, right? So now I feel like you both are just here. You're waiting. You're being patient. You are, you know, making sure that you both take your time towards this connection here. You're very much focused in here on not only building a relationship for one another here, but building for yourself here as well with this Eight of Pentacles here, okay? I feel like you both are working in on your craft and whatever that may be for you, okay? You're both wanting to make sure that this relationship is built on a solid foundation here, okay? And this person here, you two may find yourselves blending families with each other here, okay? Some of you have already met this person here and you're just ready to take it to the next level with this person here. In the future, I definitely see that happening as well, okay? And I definitely see someone else here may be worried about the fact that, you know, is this relationship going to take off or is it going to be well-established, vice versa, my last relationship, right? So some of you all, even Sagittarius, may be worried about this relationship and if it's going to turn out as you imagine for it to turn out or vice versa. This is how your person is feeling towards you okay wow wow archers so definitely if that resonated so far in regards to the current energies don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up show spirits some love again if you're new here welcome welcome subscribe my loves and be a part of family this is definitely where we love and we evolve each and every day all right so i want to check out and see if this person here you know, what their feelings and thoughts is about this connection here, okay? Because like I said, you both have went through spiritual awakenings. You both have now understood and learned your worth. You now know how to set healthy boundaries for yourself, right? And you all are just really making sure that everything flows naturally here. So let's see how this person feels towards you. Since the focus so much it was making sure that you both are financially stable and grounded here. Let's see where your feelings are towards each other at this time. Guardian angels, ancestors, show me Sagittarius person's energy here and their feelings towards this connection as well, please. I am available for personal readings as well, Sagittarius. 
If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information is down below in the description box, my love. Let's see, archers. Let's see how this person feels towards you. Wow, we have please come back home, okay? Some of y'all, this is where that nine of swords may come in at. This person misses you. They want you to come back home here. Some of y'all, this could be someone that you were in a relationship with, in a marriage here with, okay? And this person could be returning back to you and wanting you to come back home, okay? You could have had a child by this person here. This could be the mother or the father of your child here, Sagittarius, that wants you to come back home. What else, Guardian Angels, Ancestors? That's very significant for someone. Wow, we have Aries here, Sagittarius, okay? Some of y'all, this person may be an Aries here, okay? That you are getting to know here. This could be the new energy here, or this could be the person from your past here that wants you to come back home. We have, I will make it all up to you. Wow, so someone definitely wants you to come back home so they can make it all up to you, Sagittarius, okay? Or this Aries here wants to make it all up to you. This Aries here wants to do the things that your person did not get to do. Well, damn. Oh, we have, I was very shy. That definitely sounds like an Aries energy there, okay? Aries are very shy, okay? They're very compassionate sweet and things of that sort right very romantic but their asses is shy as hell okay all right let's see one more card here guardian angels for the archers i will ask you to marry me soon oh look how compassionate and sweet this person is okay whoever this person is it don't necessarily have to be an aries okay but however whoever's in this energy here they definitely want to make things up okay i will make it all up to you this person definitely wants to make it all up to you this person definitely wants to ask for your hand in marriage in the future here wow definitely if the reading has resonated don't forget again to like subscribe and hit the notification bell let's get you some word advice archers from your guardian angels and ancestors source angels ancestors what do we have for archers I hope you guys have been enjoying the color blue this week. Really been amplifying and working on that throat chakra. All right. Shout out to the ones that keep up with the community tab there. Thank you all so much for your love and support. And definitely shout out to the Soul Tribe gang gang. Let's get you some word advice, archers. All right, thank you. We have the two of earth here. Too much going on at once, archers. That's always, right? When is there never not a time that Sagittarius has always has more than one thing going on, right? The need to make a decision, Sagittarius, okay? So there's definitely a decision here that is coming up here that you're needing to make a decision in regards to. As I mentioned, it could be in regards to this person, your ex from your past here that wants you to come back home. Others of you all, this could be in regards to your finances, your career, things that you have going on. You may be juggling more than one type of business or situation or circumstance on your plate here, okay? It says, consider a more playful approach. That's that Aries energy. Some of y'all may have Aries placements in your chart or you needed to harness that Aries energy and be in that playful youth energy here as well. Some of y'all, this Aries or this person here is taking you back to your childhood days here, honey, Okay. And that's how you're being able to bring this playful approach to the connection here, okay? Because like I said, I'm picking up two different timelines. I'm picking up a timeline from your past, someone in your past here that wants you back here, archers, okay? This could be a baby mother, a baby father, however you want to put it in that language term, labeling-wise, whatever, all right? There's a person here that wants you back and wants you to come back home from the past. And you have this new energy here that, again, is willing to make all of this up of what this person from the past was not able to complete 
or prosper at here, honey. Okay, so there is a decision here, Sagittarius, that you will be making here as well in regards to this situation here. Wow, so definitely choose wisely, archers. Follow your intuition. Use your discernment, okay, honey? All right, and I definitely wish you the best here, okay? Wow, Sagittarius. Again, definitely if the reading has resonated, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Again, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, my loves. Subscribe and definitely click that join link down below and join the Soul Tribe. Again, I am available for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information will be down below in the description box, my loves. I love you all, Archers. You take care. Bye-bye.